sorry I've been away for a little bit. But I wanted to get on here before the end of 2019 because I wanted to talk about the decks that I've used the most in the last several months. I'm uh, very new at tarot, so I'm a beginner. I started in June. And um, like in the beginning, I was using Doreen Virtue's Fairy Tarot, uh, the Angel cards, um, things like that to like help me learn the tarot. And from that time to now, I've gotten so many books and studied the tarot so much. And like, I wanted to do the decks that I've used the most in the last few months because I want to see at the end of 2020, like what decks I like and what decks I'm using. Because once you start learning the meanings of the, uh, the cards and getting to know the tarot a little more, then your taste will change and like artwork, different artwork will resonate with you more and stuff. So, so the, oh, and I'll also tell you my Christmas goodies I got because I got some really good ones. So, um, let me start with the first deck and that would have to be my Dame Darcy mermaid tarot like I've used this deck like from the very beginning so like I would lay out spreads and then then like the same card I would like seven of wands I would like find the seven of wands and like uh, the fairy tarot and put it next to it and or the simple tarot and see what it said you know to try and learn the tarot i look it up in the books you know to see what it meant but i've used this from the very beginning this is like one of the first uh one of the first decks i got that wasn't like a rider way smith even though this does follow rider way smith but look how beautiful these cards are like, I love Dame Darcy's Mermaid Tarot. I love her artwork. Look how pretty. And I just love everything about this deck. I actually, um, you could tell I've, I've shuffled this a lot. It's got that matte gold gilding and it's like kind of bowed a little bit and stuff. And it's a pretty chunky deck and it, it would like hurt your hands because I used it all the time. I mean, I used to shuffle this all the time. Well, I text her or emailed her and asked her, you know, like, can you get a deck without the gilding? And she said, no, she said, but once 2020 gets here, the end of 2019, she said she was thinking about re-releasing like the first, uh, oh, I do not do reversals at all. That's a little complicated for me right now, but but she said she was going to re-release it, I guess, without the gilding. But I will show you. I don't know if I should, but I, so I went online seeing if I could buy like the first edition. And I could not find one. Nobody was selling one or I couldn't find it. And I found this site called India Global, and they had um, Dame Darcy Mermaid tarot cards. Like, here's the original that I got from her, and here's the one. Can you see the difference in color? This is a little more saturated. This is lighter. And, of course, this one. This one is beautiful. I love that. I love the cardstock. But I got this one. It has no gilding, and it's... um shuffles like a dream but no gilding on it and the images are the same so not sure someone's ripping off her artwork and selling it I mean it said Dame Darcy mermaid tarot but I got it and I carry this one with me everywhere Oh, <laughs> Siri thinks I'm talking to her. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I love this deck. This is like 
one of my top decks and it probably always will be. So Dame Darcy's Mermaid Tarot. Okay, <clears throat> let me just put it over here. And then the other deck that I really, really liked a lot was the Steampunk Tarot. I mean, this deck, it follows the Rider Waite Smith, but it's got that Victorian steampunk feel. I hope you guys can see that because it is a kind of a dark in color deck, but I really like this deck a lot. I like edged it in like an antique brown and it goes really good with the backs. But this has like one of my favorite death cards. Oh, and I love the Hierophant. Look at that. It's like, see the old guy with the two little kids just like listening and he's got books on the table. It's like they're listening, you know, to his every word. You know, he's telling some great stories. But... I love that Hierophant, but um, I don't know, let me see, oh, The Lovers is a good one too, I'm sorry, oh yeah, and here's the Chariot card, which of course you all know is my birth card, but look at her, she's like badass, so yeah, I like that a lot too. Let me see if I can find the death card and then, I mean, I know everybody has seen this deck and I'm sure you've probably seen the death card too. Sorry, let's see. Of course, oh, here it is. But yeah, look at that. She's got them big black wings and there's the guy with his back to her. I love that card. But anyway, I had no problem following this at all. It's a great deck, Steampunk Tarot. And let's see, the other one is the Stella Tarot. And uh, this is the backs. And I believe this one is from 2008 so it's not one of the new ones um or if they have a new one but that's the back so pretty I love the backs but I love this deck so much it's like um they say it's like Asian European inspired like and I know it's like supposed to be like oil paintings that were made into this. I mean, the colors are just like so pretty. But this follows the Rider Waite Smith too. And like, I don't have any trouble using this deck. This is a beautiful deck. I, I just love all the colors in it. But yeah, Stella Tarot. I've been using this for a while but and I'm surprised like like look at the people in it can you see that guy right there so but yeah it's a beautiful deck so yeah I really like oh that's a devil card see him oops of course you know I had to drop some cards hold on I gotta get those Okay, sorry about that. But Stella Tarot, love this deck. Sorry, those are upside down now. Okay, all right. So that was my Stella Tarot. Okay, the next deck I wanna talk about is my beloved Anna Kay. And this is the self published one. I had the mass market one 
and I fell in love with that deck and I was like, I must have them, you know. So she asked, I bought the deck from her and she sent it to me. I think it came from Austria, I'm pretty sure. But I got our correspondences. She was so nice. And like we went back and forth and stuff and I did the wrong shipping. I wanted it to come quicker. And she was like, oh, I can fix it for you. So like I just sent her the extra money and she sent it and I got it pretty quick coming from Austria. So these are like the perfect size. The only thing is look how small it is up here and for people like me who have really bad eyesight but this is a beautiful deck i love this deck so much people will say stuff about how the people look but I'm like look at that sun card that is like one of my favorite sun cards ever there's no people in it it's just a happy joyous scene you know and like that's the empress and like people, like I guess, I don't know if they have a problem with the Empress, but I don't. I think she's voluptuous, beautiful. She's got a little baby there. Look at all the foliage around her, the tree. I mean, she's got the wreath on. I mean, I love that card. Oh, and the chariot. Look at him going towards the sun. I love that. I mean, look at the girlfriends. Yeah. So I think this deck is great. This is like my number one deck. I mean, probably always will be. Look at that judgment card. Can you see the angel right there? Oh. That, oh my gosh, and that, look at that. Beautiful. I mean, I know people know the Anna Kay, and that's what I love about the Ten of Swords on Anna Kay. Like, you see the guy walking away, so look, you know. It's over, but he lives to tell about it. So, I love that Ten of Swords. That's an awesome Ten of Swords. And the Hermit, that's like my favorite Hermit. There's like so many cards in here that are my favorite. Um, but yeah, the Anna K Tarot. And all the Queens are so beautiful in this deck. Like, look at that. Oh, I love that background. It's so pretty. But yeah, so the Anna K is like numeral uno. Oh, and I've had the Anna K, like the mass market, I've had that like almost as long as I've had the mermaid tarot. So I don't know if I'm just attached to them because of that, but the Anna K, so I've been learning on the Anna K and the mermaid tarot. So they're like, they're like my number one decks. I love them so much. Okay, and the last one I want to talk about is this Darkness of Light Tarot. Okay, I, this deck is like so beautiful. This is the third edition. Like I'd been seeing it online for a long time and they had the black backs and that's what I wanted, but I ended up with the white backs. So I guess the third edition is the white backs, which is fine. I'm fine with it. I mean, because it's still the same images. But this deck is so beautiful. So I've had this deck for a while for me. <laughs> and I was on a site where people sell tarot cards and swap them and all that. And somebody was selling a black, black version. Uh, I don't know if it's first or second, but it has the black, you know, backs. And she said, 
I cut the uh, titles and the border off of it, so there's no title or border. And I was like, hmm, but she was selling it pretty cheap. So I was like, I'm going to just get it, right? So I got it. That is like, I love this deck. Let me show you how freaking it puts a whole new vibe to the deck. Here it is now. And she had edged it in black. No titles or borders. I mean, look how nice that looks. Oh my goodness. This is like, I use this deck constantly. Like I always grab for this deck. And at first I was like, oh, I hope I know, you know what the cards are. But I had no problem whatsoever. Like when I got them, I was like looking at them and I was like going, oh, magician, the full, you know, whatever it was. And I was right. So... And it's because I used that one so much that I knew this one. Look at that. Nine of Cups. Oh my goodness. Yeah. And something she didn't tell me that she did. She took like a metallic ink pen and she put like up here in Roman numerals and the symbol. Like Nine of Cups. Which she didn't tell me she did that. But I don't care. I don't have a problem with it at all. It's fine. Doesn't, I don't even notice it. doesn't bother me in the least. But I love this deck without the titles and the borders. Oh, I would not have had the nerve to do that. But I'm glad she did because I love this deck so much. It's beautiful now. Oh, my God. I wish you could just fill them. I mean, they, it's just a whole new vibe. I mean, look at the difference. Look at that. It's not the same card, but it's, you can see like what a difference it makes not having the border. And I don't have a problem with borders. I mean, some decks are fine with it, but I just think it just makes it so nice. Oh, so this is like fast becoming. It's right up there with my Anna K for sure. Can't replace my Anna K, but okay. And of course, I want to mention that I, my favorite um, um, writer weight is the Universal. Yeah. So everybody knows what the writer weight looks like, but this is my favorite one. I don't know why. Um, I think because it's got more white in it or something. I don't know. This is my favorite, though, of the Rider Waite. If I use one, this is the one I use. I love this one. Universal. So, yeah. Universal. So, that is my favorite Rider Waite that I use. And, okay. So, that's it. So now on to the Christmas goodies. Okay, first off, my daughter got me the pocket edition of Dreams of Gaia. Like, this does not fall under the right of weight at all. And it just comes with this. I mean, it's a pretty good little book. But Kelly from The Truth and Story, she said you really need the big book. If you want to learn this system. So, I don't think I can just get the big book. So, I may have to get the big, uh, the bigger deck. But, look at the backs of those. How pretty. And this card stock. It's like all matte. And, so like, 2020, I'm going to learn this deck for sure. So... Dreams of Gaia Pocket Edition. Wow, what a beautiful little deck. Mm. The pictures are so pretty. But yeah, Dreams of Gaia. Oh, you know something that I wanted to tell you guys? You know how I um, say, told you that the Anna K that I just love so much? Well, at the time that I ordered the Anna K, 
from um, from her, I went ahead and ordered her the Anna K. Lenormand. So I've been studying the Lenormand as long as I've been studying the tarot. Because when I got it, like this is Anna K. Lenormand deck. And like I use this all the time. I mean, this Lenormand deck is so... Of course, I love it because it reminds me of Anna K. Tarot. But, like, look at that tree. I hope you guys can see that, but... Fish. But the star. The ship. Oh, look at that. This is a great Lenormand deck. So yeah, so I use this quite a bit. I love this Lenormand deck. I, I really don't need another Lenormand deck because I love this Lenormand deck so much. Although I did get on the Kickstarter for the Green Glyphs Lenormand and I, and I can definitely appreciate it, but this is like my favorite Lenormand right here. I mean, I I have like three Lenormands. So the Green Glyphs, the Anna K. But I use the Anna K all the time. Oh, I was like, where's my bag? So, um, back to my Christmas goodies. Sorry about that. I just wanted to mention that because I love that Lenormand deck. Okay. I got the pocket edition and it even came with this little bag the pocket edition of the tabula Mundi deck um this is more like thoughty based thoughty i don't know if that's a word but i think you guys know what i mean but here's the backs can you see the I'm sure you can. It's got the uh, like foil, foil on there, but sorry about that. I got a message on my phone and I was like trying to wipe it away, but the Tabula Monde, this is a really cool deck. And it has the astrological symbols down there and But yeah, ever since I <clears throat> discovered the um, row rig tarot, I've been like interested in thought. And when I seen this, I was like, oh, I want to get that. So I got the pocket edition. Which is really weird because my rogue rig is like huge. And then I have this. But I don't, I haven't got to really dive into this because I got it for Christmas. So I am interested to do that. So this is the Tabula Monde. Tabula Monde. Yeah, Tabula Monde. I think that's how you say it. But it comes in this nice little two-part box, which I really, really like. So, we'll dive into that a little bit more in 2020. And then, my favorite thing I got. Okay, let me tell you a story about this, too. Okay, so... And I go online to get this for me for Christmas. And it said sold out of the gold gilded edges. They only had the holographic black ones. And I really wanted the gold because I love gold edges. And it said sold out. And I was like, oh man. So like I emailed her. I was like, I was on your site. I was going to get, um, this might hurt tarot 
with the gold gilded edges. I go, but I seen you're sold out and I really, really wanted one. Please say you have one laying around somewhere. She emails me back and she's like, I do happen to have one left. She said, I'll put it on my site, but you better hurry up and get over there and get it because it's the last one I have. And she was on holiday. I mean, it was Christmas and stuff. And she actually went on, put it on there. I I was like, oh my gosh, because it was like 20 minutes since she had sent me the email. So I go over there and it showed there was a gold gilded edge deck. I hurried up, bought it, and like she sent it right out. Like I got it like really quick. So here's the backs and I got the gold. I think the gold looks beautiful with the black and I love this deck. It's so cute. It's like a happy deck. It makes me happy. Yeah. Makes me happy like the mermaid tarot. Look at that. It's so cute. It kind of like, it, it reminds you of just like, I mean, not that one, but like <clears throat> everyday life and people and stuff. So I'm really digging this deck. Yeah, so that's the This Might Hurt Tarot. So cute. And I was so frigging excited. And then soon as I got this last one, and I guess maybe that she sold out of the black ones too, because I guess she has put on her her website pre-order the um, more holographic and pearl holographic. So it's going to be like a white holographic. I was like, Lord have mercy, but I like the gold. I'm glad I got the gold. Okay. And, oh, Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. True Black Tarot. Okay. This deck, beautiful box, by the way. If you can see that on the box, how pretty. Oh, I mean, the packaging of this. But, you know, you, put, you pay a pretty penny for this deck. It's not a cheap deck. Look how fat it is. And it comes like this because that's just how it comes. It's true black tarot. And then the bags. Okay. Now I have not really got to work with this deck. But I love that pull. Look, he's got the butterfly on his head. And he's looking up. And he's got like, these wings. But I cannot resonate with this deck. Like, I can look at this deck and say, what a beautiful deck. Like, look at that strength card. That is. But, I cannot see myself using this deck. I'm glad to have it in my collection. But, <clears throat> no. Like, I don't, like I know people like ooh and all over it, which I mean the artwork is beautiful, but like, like that lover's card is like, that is just, but my plan is to study this deck in 2020 and see if I can, uh, connect with it a little more because I really want to but I'm not and this card always throws me off like when you're shuffling it it's the only one that's light and it'll poke out and I'll think oh no I think it got ripped or torn or something it freaks me out I'm like oh but yeah so I need to like sit with this deck for a little bit and see if I can resonate a little more with it. Because as of now. Oh and there's some cards that you might think are swords. And they're wands. Or you might think they're wands. And they're pinnacles. And and it's hard to see. Let me show you. 
Okay, like down here it says Ace. Can you see that? It's like in that silver. See that? And so like if you have these laid out, I don't even think if you had good eyes you could see it, but like if you don't know the card, then you're not you're not gonna be sure like what it is. Like uh wish I could find some for you so I could show you what I'm talking about. But anyway, it's a beautiful deck, but I'm just not resonating with it. Just, just, uh, like I said, I haven't really got to work with it that much. So I don't know if that's it or, okay. You guys, I got the cutest little, let me show you. It's my little bracelet on it. But look at this little planner I got. The meditating guy. And I put an air plant in him. But this is like my lava, lava bracelet. And I have him up with my plants. But is he freaking adorable? Oh my God. I love him. Okay. Okay, real quick. I do want to share something with you guys okay in here which by the way I love this bag I got it off a of girl on Etsy but I've got several of her bags but they're pretty big for just like small but I do keep one of my um my uh my darkness of light the one that's been trimmed but this is a deck that I use sorry to go off but I was wanting to tell you guys about this and I forgot but I keep this. This is Gabrielle Bernstein's um, The Universe Has Your Back is, of course, where is it? Um, is these in the gold, got the gold circle. And then the ones that have the red circle are the uh, super attractor. And I just have them together because they're exactly the same. Like the only difference is the, is the, of course I'm pulling every, is the little circle there. But these are so good. Like after I meditate or something in the morning, then I just like kind of shuffle these and then pull a card out. But like, what's this one say? The universe powerfully responds the instant I realign with love. And this is the super attractor. Here, I can do less and attract more. That's the super attractor. Let's see. Okay. Okay, let's see. Okay. Like, this is the universe has your back. And it says, the more energy and intention I bring to my faith, the more fearless and free I am. Um, there is a stream of love supporting my dreams. Oh my goodness. Let's see. Um... The universe has big plans for me and it's time to claim them. I mean, I know these are affirmation cards and stuff. My fearless freedom lights up the world. I do whatever it takes to get closer to consciousness. Look at that. Oh my God. In stillness, I receive. Um... Oh, I love this one. And this is from The Universe Has Your Back. It says, I am a spirit having a human experience. And I am here to get closer to love. Look at that. Oh, my God. Here's Super Attractor. It says, I slow down and listen to the guidance that's available to me. But I won't go on and on about these. I, when I think I've surrendered... I surrender more. I am the dreamer of my dream. So, yeah. I mean, 
These are great. I just like to pull one every day and just, you know, helps me feel good about myself. And anyway, I love Gabrielle Bernstein. Um, I follow her and stuff. She's awesome. But anyway, that was my Christmas goodies and the and the decks that I've used the most in the last several months. Um, I hope you enjoyed that, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.